Kyle, if there's anger out here right now, let's uh, take a look at what's going on behind us here. Activists and supporters right now literally at the front door of the French consulate. They've been ringing the bell now for about 10 minutes or so. Nobody's coming down. Uh, that's Dove Hike, and you see there a local activist with Americans Against Anti-Semitism leading the vigil today. New York governor, former New York governor David Patterson also in attendance here. There is anger. There has been chanting, uh, anger at the French government, anger at this decision, anger that nothing's being done right now. And they're continuing to try to get somebody from the French consulate to come down and talk to them about the situation. We spoke before the rally with Dove Hyken. He told us it's not an option right now not to speak out at an injustice like this. Let's give a listen to what Dove Hyken told us earlier today. Everybody, every person who cares about decency and cares about our society needs to speak out about this travesty of justice in France. How could this happen? I mean, Jews living in France. I mean, you know, it's open season on Jews, you know, just, you know, before you murder a Jew, God forbid, smoke a marijuana. You know, smoke a little marijuana, you won't be guilty of anything. Isn't that the message? And it is clearly so. It's, it's hard to believe. Also in attendance today, uh, Kalev is Curtis Sliwa. He's the head of the Guardian Angels. He's also running for mayor here in New York City. He says he was in Israel during the second intifada when uh, the intifada was happening, and French Moroccans were immigrating during the intifada. He said he spoke with them. Why now? Why would you come now when it's uh, such a great danger? They said even then they felt they were in more danger in Paris than they were in Jerusalem at that particular time. He said not much, unfortunately, has changed in France. Let's give a listen to Curtis Sliwa. This is just one of many attacks that has occurred in which there has been no relief in the criminal justice system. And I'm familiar with the French criminal justice system. In some ways, it's preferable to our criminal justice system. But in this case, it's completely failed the victims and the Jewish community. That's not our way. Now, while the French consulate would not come out and speak with us on camera, they did issue a statement to us. They say the French government and civil society have expressed their solidarity with the victim and her family. And because of the separation of powers between the judiciary and the government, the French consulate cannot comment on this particular decision. They did note that the decision uh, by the justice was that this was an anti-Semitic crime, but the uh, specific penal code had to be referred to in this case, and that's why... The uh, criminal, the murderer in this case, is not serving any prison time. Activists here are still trying to convince the French government to change that decision.